What's up, YouTube? I don't need the window open. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about a concept. No, a reality. That literally left me speechless. Like, listen, listen, listen. No, no, listen, Speak. listen, 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 you. listen, 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 listen. I've vlogged about flying cars, transportation devices that can move you from one place to another in minutes, laptops that are powered by your smartphones, and even $2,000 uh, robot dogs that are more useful than actual dogs. We talk about artificial intelligence very loosely. AI can do this, AI can do that. Alexa can tell me the weather, Siri can tell me how the traffic is. But Google's like that really smart transfer kit that just came to your classroom and is answering all the questions before you. Now I know I talk a lot before videos, so I'm gonna like jump right in it. Google has created a new AI assistant called Google Duplex. Google Duplex is specifically designed to make tedious phone calls for you. Book a hair appointment, schedule a dinner reservation, all, that, all, all those annoying calls that you have to make and you try to keep passing the buck to someone else, Google Duplex does that for you. I, I, I can't explain it anymore, I just, just watch this. Let's say you wanna ask Google to make you a haircut appointment on Tuesday between 10 and noon. Okay, so I mean, if I tell Siri, text John Doe, XYZ message, she'll do that. So I mean, what's great about Google Duplex? So what you're gonna hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon to schedule the appointment for you. Oh, how can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Now that, that is a robot. That, that's, that's electronic, that is artificial intelligence. There's no one on real time making phone calls for you. There's not a Google person sitting in the Google offices just making your dinner reservation for you. Like, are you understanding that this is complete technology? Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. AI does have a sense of humor too. Why do you think people who love gadgets are so funny? Sure, what time are you looking for around? At 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1.15. You being your awkward self on the phone, we panic when situations come where we have to think on our feet while on the phone because you know the other person's constantly listening to you. The Google Duplex adapts to different situations. Our role of business is being able to adapt to different situations. Yeah? Adapt, react, readapt, act. Right? That's rule number two. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's her first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Just think about what you saw for one just one brief minute. The only command you ever gave your phone was schedule a hair appointment on this day between this and this time. Your phone called the person, conducted a whole conversation while entirely sounding human. Let me show you the second conversation, which seems a bit more tedious. See how may I hear you? Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. For seven people? Um, it's for four people. Four people when? Um, Day, next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Oh, actually, we leave here for like upper like five people. For few, four people, you can come. How long is the wait usually to uh, be seated? For when tomorrow or weekday or? For next Wednesday, uh, the seventh. Oh, no, it's not too busy. You, you, you can come for four people, okay? Oh, I gotcha. Thanks. Bye-bye. Google is advancing in AI so much that it's reducing the need for human existence. You drive a car? Google can drive a car. You want to take a picture? Google Clips knows when to take your picture for you. You want to call someone? Google can call someone for you. Now, for those thinking, oh, how will I ever know if I'm talking to a robot or like an AI assistant or if I'm talking to a human? Just like you, many other people were very skeptical about it. Like, 
it's it's not even like people are excited about the the innovation, the excitement of of this, but they were more panicking about how to know if you're talking to an actual person or not. Google has obviously heard your doubts, your hesitations, and I'm not sure how they're gonna do it, but they will find a way to inform the caller first that the person talking is actually an AI assistant from Google. As for usability, you're probably not gonna use it for a couple years more just because it's such a, a huge thing and it will take some time to perfect because people are just gonna keep finding flaws in it. But um, yeah, just, just keep waiting. I know I normally get into crazy rants at the end about how technology is innovating and how amazing everything is and whatever, but I'm not gonna do it this time because I can barely wrap my head around what this is. Like if, I kinda wanna start but I'm not going to, but just think I make a call for you. That's all you need to know. If you're not freaking out, you just probably don't freaking love smart gadgets, man. I don't know, but wow. That being said, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate whenever you guys do that. And uh, lastly, don't forget, get your geek on.